Let's take a look at the rope to rope transfer with a casualty. So the goal here is simply to move the casualty from their original set of lines that they became incapacitated on to another set of lines. Could be to avoid an obstacle or get out from underneath a platform, something like that. So in this instance, I'll approach the casualty from the ground, um, but that doesn't always have to be the case. It could be from above, could be from an aid climb. This is just uh, one example here. So once we get into position, first thing we want to do is keep our back up nice and high above the casualty's main uh, working equipment. And then we can remove our low back up from below. So we want to get a little bit of extra height there so that when we change over and come down, we still have the, the appropriate height to perform the pick off of the casualties crawl. So quick changeover. I can suck up the extra slack there through that, that descender and remove my uh, ascender from the line. and clean helps with our rope management so then I can start making connections to the casualty so I'll take their secondary backup lanyard could be um, their cow's tail you could prefer to use one of your cow's tails from your ventral and then we'll make a short connection with two linked carabiners also to the sternal that will help keep the casualty upright we've got two connections to the casualty we can remove their original two connections so move the casualties back up first and I'm going to steal that because I'll need it for that rope to rope transfer that we're going to do I can also steal the casualties descender at this point before they get down too low so now we have to remove the casualty from the crawl so we'll give you a quick demo of that just take the foot loop from their hand ascender down through the sternal. Back up over the connector. And then we've got a two to one mechanical advantage with um, a redirect. It's not a true mechanical advantage, a little bit of friction there, but I can stand up on that foot. Now you'll notice the dummy won't move anywhere until I give it a quick lift here with all my weight counterbalancing, then the crawl will come right up. I can grip these two strands together so that when I take my foot out, the casualty doesn't drop down and I don't have to practice my yoga. Okay, clean up that mechanical advantage you made, remove that casualty's hand ascender, just get that system nice and clean before you start to move. Okay, now more rope management. We're just going to move those lines um, on the far side of the dummy away from where we're going uh, just to keep them out of the way. And now with the backup that I stole from the casualty, I'll install that on the backup line of my new set of lines, transfer lines. I've got one, two, three points. So I need one more. It's gonna be a main point. We'll put that casualty stolen descender um, through the short connection and also through my central D-ring, my ventral D-ring there. That way when the weight is transferred off the first ID, um, 
that ID becomes free and won't uh, won't get pinned down. Okay, so we can count our points. One, two, three, and four. Four points in a transfer is the most important part. Two in each direction to protect it from a swing. For the lower, we're gonna add a friction carabiner. Double check that that ASAP is unlocked and moving freely. I think we'll pull some tension through here. And we can lower off that initial ID. Once that ID comes loose and you're directly under your new set of lines, you've completed your transfer. Just remove the ID or the descender. Okay, I'll just throw some friction on that lowering ID now, thinking ahead. And I can remove the initial ASAP or backup device, whatever it happens to be. Check that ASAP's unlocked and lower to the ground. And that seems like a simple demonstration. That'll be the foundation of all of the transfer rescues you do um, for the most part in your level two and three. Um, we're always just moving from one rope to another. And there's your foundation right there. Thanks for watching.